Come out to the box. Out to the box. Out to the box. Yeah. Hello YouTube, cheers, and welcome to The Basement. My name is Bruce Lively. Once again, I'm D-Boy Slim. And The Basement is the first daily hip-hop debate show. From Tuesday through Friday, we tackle the most intriguing topics in hip-hop culture and the world around it. So welcome back, Basement family. Once again, yet another Memphis rapper tour bus gets shot up. This was in Jersey, and back home in Memphis, a guy gets pulled out of his car for listening to Yo Gotti. No, it wasn't Black Youngster this time. Ah, uh, listen. I, so you might say, are these connected? Probably not. Can't blame this one on Black. Can't blame it on him. But why does violence seem to follow these Memphis rappers everywhere they go? Well, we have two different opinions on that. And that's the debate we have today. So before we get started, you guys have to check out our sponsors. The Fleetwood Spice Collection. Get the full array of unique delicious spices right here. It's time to change your spice people. So today's question, is the money bag yo incident a sign of what's wrong with Memphis hip hop? With that being said, let go. Come on to the box, boy. We back. We back. Hope you had a good weekend. What's going on out there, YouTube? Mm hmm. There's a lot going on in hip hop right now. Mm -hmm. You saw me put up live Saturday or Sunday after I came back in town that uh, Money Bag Yo truck got shot up. People are in the hospital. I saw some other news reports since then. It's real. I was thinking, you know, is it a publicity stunt? Uh, no, it's not. It's very real. We first appreciate the feedback on that too. Definitely, definitely. We're almost at 500 subscribers right now, thanks to you guys. Thank you. Yeah, the uh, money bag yo situation. Mm hmm. Seemed to be an unfortunate incident. Um, from afar, it seems like one of these typical uh, extortion things where the, you know rappers come to the city and. If they're not in tune with the right people, or if they're not in contact with the right people in that city, you know, you, the, you know, the extortion game is laid there. Yeah, is what it seemed to be. Which it's kind of extreme to go shooting up, but I guess you, you you sending that you sending that warning like you know some somebody has to be reached, somebody has to be contacted, you know, ties have to be made. I have a mm -hmm. uh, you know, I have an idea on why it was so extreme in this situation, and that's what now, I'm gonna get. I don't, particularly think there's any black cloud that follows Memphis rappers or Memphis artists. Um, I think this happens everywhere more times than not. I think we forget how often this happens when in actuality, it's become the norm. It's become the norm. And not only for Memphis, I know I don't have to remind people about the, what's going on in Chicago. It seems like rapper or not, there's somebody that's dropping there every every couple hours. Like it, you know. Every every week you can you can you can set your clock to it that there's gonna be a rapper or somebody affiliated with a rapper or somebody out of the rapper's crew that's gonna fall in Chicago. Like that's become a regular. But not the big time rappers though. So. That's become the regular out there. Well, big time or not, I'm money money bag yo is not particularly a big artist. He has no you know platinum or gold sales. He's just a rapper up under the CMG label. He's not the biggest artist, but. It's happened so and not really none of the Memphis artists outside of Young Dolph are particularly that big, but you know, um you mentioned the Memphis artists, or you know, that's what we're debating today. Um I'm just here to say it, you know, or remind the people that it happens everywhere. Um Atlanta in particular. Uh we can't, you know, we can't forget about what just happened to Bankroll Fresh just last year. Just a week ago, I mean, just a couple of days ago, another local artist in Atlanta by the name of Young Mozzie, who was up on the Kevin Gates uh, label, got shot and killed. So, and these are people that, you know, they didn't, you know, fortunately for Dolph, he had the bulletproof, but these were rappers that wasn't so fortunate and they got killed, you know, so. I'm just, you know, I point, I say that to say that this is, 
it's not just a Memphis thing where it's happening, violence and, you know, crazy things outside of, you know, the, the raps that, you know, are perpetuated by these artists, but it's happening all over the globe. If you, if, you know, if y'all been following, you do your homework, Young Mozzie, local, hadn't had any hits, wasn't particularly big, but still in all, it's, it's another black man, youthful, you know, you uh, young black man that was trying to come up through the rap game or whatever, and probably still had, you know, one foot in the street. And I, this is what I attributed to. Still having that one foot in the street. Still knowing the goons that are active. Still rolling with the hitters as most of their raps and most of these guys' uh, music perpetuates. Drugs you may still be using or people that surround you that are still using drugs. As we seen also with Atlanta. We just, me and Bruce just did a show about young Dro snitching because of a situation with Sporty having the, Sporty, Sporty having the gun in the, in the car. And, and that turned into a, a whole situation. Thank God this year we haven't heard from T.I. getting arrested and going back to prison as we usually do in, in, in previous years. But, um. Yeah, it's not just the Memphis thing. I said all that to say, you know, it's not just the Memphis thing. It's not just a black cloud that's hovering over Memphis. I hear you, man. I hear you. But I got to say this. From what I hear, it's the same reason. I mean, they're, they're, the violence does follow them when they're not together. So everybody's beefing with each other, every man for himself, every block for themselves. They do have the violence, and that's exactly what I'm saying. Those rappers that deal with that, even when they go out the state, they find a way for violence to follow them because they're not together. So really what I'm saying is, if a rapper from the West Coast or from, from St. Louis, a rapper from Atlanta especially, goes out there and doesn't pay the toll, I bet you the first thing wouldn't be the guns. It would be a conversation. It'd be talking to the bosses. It would be some sort of an understanding having to be met. And, and you would hear about it. But when your city is so divided, people are more willing to take a chance because they know that you there's nobody else coming back for you. There's no, there's not going to be a, a big group of people that's going to come back on the side and go, yo, F them jerseys, blah, 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 because you have so many enemies at home that you've made, it's not a big risk. Because you have so many enemies at home that you've made, it's not a big risk. I, I, I... This is in reference to the money bag. This is money bag. In the reference to the money bag, yo, and I'm going to name others. The reason why I say Memphis rappers especially is because, yeah, it's happened here and then there and then there. But let's look at the timeline. Last year, there was beef. Black youngster. Guns out. Young Dolph. Next thing you know, Dolph drops his thing. Everybody's choosing a side in the city. You ask people, there's been many videos on YouTube. I rock with I rock with Dolph, so F Gotti all together. I rock with Gotti, so F F Dolph all together. Uh I rock with Dolph, so F Gotti. I mean, all, it is it's like that. Next thing you know, somebody gets a hundred shots in his bulletproof van. That's Dolph. You come back, it's more guns, it's more interviews. And if you don't believe the timeline, and now it's your, and now it's, it's money bag, yo, you say they're not connected. I agree, they're not connected, but it's the attitude, it's the division of the city that carries this along with you. It's not just me saying this. We've interviewed Lil Bling. Lil Bling will tell you. Lil Bling will tell you that the love is lost in Memphis. He wished that they would get together because he sees the violence over this hip hop every day. And this spreads the mentality of, of F this dude because I don't like his label or whatever it is. There's no unity in the city and that brings forth these types of episodes. Either whether it's with each other or when you go outside like Moneybag Yo did and realize that other people realize that you don't have nobody backing you up. So they're more willing to shoot the gun rather than go talk to Gotti about it, rather than sit down with the bosses because it doesn't mean anything to them. There's no threat because you're not unified. I don't think it's the karma per se. I think it's just the result of so many actions in so little time showing the world that you're not unified. Ask BT the truth. BT the truth come out with a young dog this and now the guns is out over there. You ask Bling, ask Moda. I mean, all of them will tell you 
that there is no unity. And I believe that that lack of unity, that that constant diss and back and forth is inadvertently one of the reasons why you see it follow, this violence follow them more than others. Just in the past two years, if you were to count it, you might find one or two here or there over many years. In the past two years, it's been focused, Memphis and Chicago. And the reason is the same. Disunity, every man for themselves. That type of mentality only breeds more violence and corruption. If it was more unified, I, I am 99.9% .9 sure it wouldn't have went straight to the guns for a lack of a toll. Because that's been done before and other things have come out of that. Talks, maybe aggression. The 100 shots to the, to the tour bus comes because they don't think you're going to do anything about it. The 100 shots to the, to the tour bus comes because they don't think you're going to do anything about it. And they think that you personally will, but your city's not unified. There's going to be no recourse on a grand level. And that comes from a lack of unity in the city. That's my point. Well, my whole point in the debate is the fact that there are other cities besides Memphis that has the same amount or more violence or the same amount or more altercations involving rap artists. And I have facts to prove that. Um, okay. I didn't mention New York in my opening statements, but let's go to New York. We've, we've seen over the years, you know, with Ja Rule and 50, Pun or and Fat Joe and his crew, the Rough Riders, Rockefeller. We've seen that over the years. Let's go to recent times though. How fast and how quick we forget, God rest, banger, the Troy Ave situation. As me and Bruce were just doing the show just a couple of months about the Troy Ave situation with him and Taxstone, the podcaster from Brooklyn. They're both Brooklyn. So this, this is the same borough. Mm -hmm. It's the same part of the city. You want to talk about lack of unification and la lack of unity, there's no better example, you know, where maybe a conversation between dudes from Brooklyn, the Red Cafes, the Mainos, Uncle Murders, Pat Pooses, the dudes that come from this same borough. And if you if you need a more further example than the Troy Ave situation in which he came to a club, Taxstone was at a club, they both known, you know, noted had beef or whatever the case and guns were drawn and, and the guy was killed look at the gs9 situation you know you want to you know you want to talk about uh a certain type of energy that follows you and this is what i mean by you get you, you, and you said you didn't want to use the term karma well i will you get back a certain energy that you give out okay me and bruce have talked about this for years whether it was, you know, at the time when, remember when Waka Flocka had it going and, oh, let's do it. Oh, let's do it. Well, I can't remember with the timeline, but it may have been a week or two after the the, 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 the song was released and he had the, uh, he had the remix with Diddy and all of that. And he had the video, he gets robbed and shot. He gets robbed and gunned down. Again, it's, the, it's not just the city of Memphis and the, and the lack of unity in that particular city. It happens all across the map, and that's my point. And that, that you know, I could wrap that up with that. But I, I could, I can okay. give you several more examples. Philadelphia with Beanie Siegel, when a year and a half ago he was gunned down, and his house at his house in New Jersey. We all know the, the history with Beans and his turmoil and the energy that he that he put out. He involved himself in the Meek Mill beef with Game. We seen what happened to him. It's okay. that it's that same energy that I'm talking about. Whereas if 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 you're up, if you're of and about a certain lifestyle, then expect that energy to come back. This, although Memphis does have a lot of uh, altercations involving their rap artists that we do here, and that's you know been noted and documented on the news or whatever. But it's the same thing in Chicago. If we if I went to Detroit, okay. I could pull out several more examples. All right. Philadelphia, New York, the same. L.A. That is. Did we forget about Wack 100? That's a perfectly clean wrap up. I say that the amount is what I'm talking about more, but you're right, and I concede that. And my real point is, I would say to that, in my in my second soliloquy after yours, I would say 
those cities that you talk about suffer from the same problem. And really the problem is because the best rappers that come out of Memphis are the ones that are that are continuing this beef. The one or two times that you hear about it in every other city, it's that problem. But it's not it's not the heads. It's not the heads. It's usually the tails. And then when, when you talk about what happened in New York, those places where they know that this beef well, back in the day when, when New York was mainly unified, even when they had beef, you, there was an idea that you know if you messed with one, everybody else is coming out. You knew that, and so it didn't really happen. And when that is lost is when you get these problems. It's not just a symptom that that is only a Memphis thing, but I believe that that is a sign of what's wrong with Memphis hip-hop. So it's up to you guys. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna give the shout outs. This is why we want you to leave the comments. Tell us what you think. Leave the comments right down there in the comment section and tell us what you think. Is this a symptom of a Memphis thing? Is it everywhere or is it coincidence? Is it just part of being in the streets? But we want you to leave the comments because we shout you out. Starting with Hands On Thompson. He's talking about Chief Keef isn't the worst, like I said. No, he says he that's got. What I said. You said Chief Keef. No, Keefe no, the Chief Keef isn't the worst, the, rebuttaling what I said, right? Oh. Yeah. And he said, um, he's got bangers. And he said, uh, Kobe and, and B for a few of his favorites. But were they on beat, though? I doubt it. Chief Keef is not the worst, though. Appreciate your comments. Mary D said, Silk the Shocker, the beginning of the worst for this century, and started a movement of mumbling in rap now we'll give a pound on that because off off air we said the same something thing. about silk the shock appreciate the comments mary d sean smith sean smith uh one of the greats out there said jealousy is an mf -er. and that was according to this show right here what we're talking about i think it's more than jealousy i think it's this idea that when you're not unified you tend to to get beat down uh mr fleetwood said rob bass uh, he was at least <laughs> on beat though He Come was on. at least on don't beat do Rob, though Don't do Rob bass <laughs> like that Mr. Fleetwood Come on champ Appreciate you Elohim the God Elohim the God says Team box cutter my man with the polo shirt I listen he's talking about you Said I love Nas but tragedy was never mainstream Imagine if Nas would have Brought the whole QB together mm. Which he tried at, at, at a certain time. You know, we got a lot for Trash, man. Listen. You I, know how to support your Trash. I don't even think Trash know how much support he got out here. Yeah, we he's, appreciate that. He says Illmatic is a classic and, in his opinion, against all odds is a classic. Mm, no and we doubt. all got opinions. No I appreciate that, Elohim the God. Great, 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 great comment. Thanks. I love Fat Pussy, says Ja Rule. Worst of all time, come on, man. Just do because he shot. does, just because he's, he lost the bat, he lost the battle with Fifty. All right. Just because he does girl songs, or whatever, no, don't mean you're the worst, the worst of all rapper. time, man. Anyway, listen. Thank you, everybody. I, I love Fat Pussy. Eleven seven twenty two. Thank you. Appreciate all the comments. Leave your comments right down there. Press that subscribe button. Buy the beats. Look in the description to tell you how. Let us know who won this. Who won this debate? You know who it is. Took the W again, right? Appreciate all the love out there. Yeah, the basement. Peace.